Hello Sagittarius and welcome to the channel. I am Marv and this is Readings by Marvelous Madame Tarot. We're going to be going ahead and taking a look at your weekly energy, timeless weekly, weekly, weekly energy. Um, and it's going to carry you through May 4th, May 4th, oh my goodness, May 7th through May 14th, Jesus. Everything you need is below in the description box for you and your collective. Let's go ahead and get it crack a lacking. What you hear me doing in the back is shuffling. There we go. All right. So we have your card. Uh-oh. And then it's the card of community. All right, Sagittarius. This shouldn't be, you know, too much out of the realm of your familiarity because you do like a good crowd. You may be one of those individuals that be like, Mar, I do not like no crowds. What I mean is that you guys come with a squad. I tell you that all the time. That just means that you know a lot of people. You got a big family, so forth and so on, a lot of friends. Um, this reminds me of my Three of Cups card. This is connection with kindred, kindred spirits. All right. A connection with kindred spirits. There is a seven here. A seven. And um, let's get into this. Um, obviously, the card is showing women celebrating. Sharing ideas and supportive energy. The lights in the picture also represent ever-present spirit of community. All right. When the card is upright, obviously it is. It indicates association of some kind. It's going to be. A casual connection of like-minded people joining in a club or community. Some of you maybe are a sports team um, of some sort or even business partnership consisting of three or more entities. All right. That's maybe your personal teams if you're a part of any teams or associations of that sort. The time, um, the time is right to make such new connections and share intentions, whether they're personal or professional Sagittarius. Networking and community are important parts of the human experience. And if the security and sense of connection, um, it can be beneficial to all. It accelerates their power in the energetic realm. OK, several people can join. Receiving this card puts you on notice that the universe is sending beneficial alliances your way. Like the happy family card, this could also indicate a party or celebration of some kind. Congratulations on whatever it is. It could be you guys getting together and throwing your mom a big shindig. OK, what the old timers used to call it. Um, if that's the case, congratulations on that. Love up on your mom, especially if she's no longer with us. OK, so it's going to overall be a decent week for you. I hope it's not. You know what happens when we get energy where we got a whole bunch of folks in the party. I hope it ain't no drama. OK, let's see what's going on with Sagittarius. What do we have? Let's see what the Tarot has to say. Oh, shit. Something is coming crashing now. Yes. So something that you're passionate about is definitely up for review. This is you, that Knight of Wands. But I do see a tower. Here we go. You've isolated yourself from some of these individuals, too. But now you're going back. It could be that you haven't spoken with these individuals, but you just haven't confronted the situation. Um, you've isolated yourself and been doing your thing. Very popular cards. Um, and unfortunately, these two are very popular. Something is going to go down at this party. It might be as simple as that or something has already come crashing down in your community. For some of you guys, um, this your alliances are breaking down. Or there's going to be dissension amongst the alliances this week, which is not good. When we're looking at the fact that you're passionate about something that's coming, crashing down, the acclaim and the esteem with that six of wands that you once received and you were passionate about, it's coming to a close. The elevator coming down. All right. Um, it's going to be something that you can be proud of. You're still going to feel like you're on top and you still may be on top. For some of you guys, you are playing a game and you're going to lose it, but... Um, you're still going to be fine. Maybe you, I don't know anything about the, the rules of a, of a game, but maybe you, you know, win one game, 
and beat, you know, bust somebody's ass on the team, but you don't qualify for some type of playoff. I don't know. Because although you are still passionate about this thing and you're, you, you work tirelessly to pursue that passion and this is our success and the claim, something within this dynamic is still coming crashing down because the tower suggests that if it's not built upon a firm foundation, that's what's going to happen, right? In our heart place, you have sort of isolated yourself from this person, group. If we're going by community, you have um, isolated yourself in your heart. You don't feel like you belong um, anymore. Maybe you could be going into new helpful environments or forging new helpful alliances. And you're out with the old because that came crashing down. And now there's a new one that's here. Either way, you've thought about it for, for some time. We're looking at the energy of a nine of pentacles. You do okay for yourself. You take care of yourself. You don't need all of the rest of that hoopla. Something definitely came crashing down that did not serve you. All right. And that's the reason why you allowed the tower to take place. When we're looking at hangman hey and death, these have been very popular the last couple of readings. We're looking at an energy where you are in Mercury retrograde right now. Sagittarius, suns and risings, you should be doing absolutely nothing. Some of you guys, this is your sixth house as well. Maybe that community is at work. Um, because if you are a Scorpio, I'm sorry, a Sagittarius, sun, a rising, Mercury is in retrograde in your sixth house. All right. So that could be what this is. Um, we do have two swords. So two swords indicates that you're blocking your emotions and four swords indicates that you are quietly preparing and you're contemplating on what the next move is going to be. Interesting. But when we look at the major arcana of the two, hey, man, suggests that you should basically sit still and not do anything and allow the enlightenment to develop you and surrender to the process. And then death suggests that endings are here and that if you allow or surrender to that ending, that then you're only going to, you know, experience the beginning. In the past, we had a strong, um, beautiful stability um, that you, you know, gained from this association. All right. This is the queen of wands. So you were just as equally passionate about this situation. However... Let's see what the top says. Yes. So this is suggesting that right now you are definitely going into some of you guys are going to a party. Somebody's getting married. Simple as that, because that's what this is. But I feel like it's out with the out with the old and in with the new. You left one association just to go to another one. That's our top. Let's go ahead and take a look and isolate the majors and see where we are. See, if we take out, we don't have many, huh? That's they. All of those are major. So, I mean, honestly, look at this. Interesting combo. endings but six ones suggest that you you're not you it's a breakup but i'm not broke up i love that i love the opposite energies of this card nine pinnacles i take care of myself it is the single lady single man card i'm okay for myself i'm taking care of myself i do what i need to do but you've isolated yourself to do that from one community into the next you have Right now, surrendering to the process, allowing yourself not to do anything. It's not passive, um, but blocking the emotions also. Emotions being blocked, emotionally not even there. Like, nope, nope, nope. We do have four swords. Quietly contemplating the next move and allowing things to come to its proper depth at the same time, right? That's what we're looking at, right? So... When we look at these four major arcana, then we are looking at quite a bit here. A lot of change is here on the board. What are you allowing to die in this community? I really do feel like a lot of it has to do with you 
leaving one group going into another. For some of you, it's a friend group. For some of you, it's going to be some type of party and some shit is going to go down when you get there. People are going to want to know why you acting funny. All right. Hopefully it don't get too deep into um, a lot of unnecessary things because it is Mother's Day week. Um, but if none of that applies to you, just take the beautiful um, energy of the major arcana and apply it to something great in your life. Like, share, and subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Always a pleasure, Sagittarius. I'll see you next week in your, in your next one.